Leo's welcome. This is your singles read. December, the month of December, guys. Doing something a little different um, than before with the Meet the Soulmate. So, excuse me, how it laid out ahead of time. So, I'm trying to do read this uh, week. I'm going to try to give something a little different than the Meet the Soulmate read does. And essentially, tell a story using 10 cards here. I clarify if I need to. I don't count the bottom of the deck here. Um, so I do like to lay this out, take a look at it ahead of time, and see. I always like to see if I have a card uh, coming out the wrong way. Sometimes it looks that way, but there's not. <laughs> um, so um, this is pretty clear. Um, you're coming in with a lot of Gemini energy. This is you in your natal chart. So Mercury, Mars, um, Venus there you know, some combination. Also for you, uh, this could be the energy of having uh, your moon or uh, the compa or your uh, ascendant there and uh, Gemini perhaps. Um, and I think you went through, and when you were younger, you kind of had a hard time leaving uh, the home. You had a hard time kind of getting started into adulthood and that kind of thing. And um, so, um, you may have stayed at home a little bit longer. I think this was in the past, okay? Um, since then, you left home. Um, you worked very hard with this Two of Pentacles. It's like, um, I kind of get you with this year reading somehow going fairly quickly into work in, in your young life, um, spending a kind of minimal amount of time, maybe getting some kind of trade. Uh, um, training in a, in a trades or something um, where you could make uh, money and survive on your own, take care of yourself. It's two pinnacles. It's very good energy. It's not really juggling people. It's like just living you, your life. You were really focused on once you kind of got going and got on your own, you really kind of focused on you here, Leo. That's what I see. And then, you know, the hermit. And I got to think with you, this is a period of soul searching. You know, it could be in a black uh, night of the soul. Um, definitely rules can roll that way. You know how that is with transit. So I'm going to be some Pluto stuff. But, you know, this would be a period like in your early 20s or uh, maybe right before your Saturn return, maybe around your Saturn return, 28, 29, 30, um, where you, it's introspective. And, you know, I, one thing I see here with you is uh, with this page of swords, there's an inquisitiveness, a, uh, a authenticity about you, uh, unpretentiousness. Um, you know, if you have a question, you just ask, I think. You don't worry. Like I said, it sounds silly. Um, and it probably works for you very well here. Um, so you go through this process of introversion and understanding yourself. And then I believe you engage in some kind of relationship, uh, possibly here with a Sagittarius coming in. Um, sun, moon, rising with Venus, some kind of Sagittarius dominant energy. So it could have been someone met you met uh, uh, that was from another culture or from another country. Uh, someone you met traveling or they were traveling. It could be quite literal like that, if not just that Sagittarius energy. Um, and it's very kind of happy-go-lucky energy and I think you were really attracted to that and it's kind of like this is what kind of got you out of your hermit energy which is the cave you know it had to be someone with this fire and, um, but this temperance energy I don't think it lasted and there's a, you know four cups so the four cups just not being interested so I think that what you found is that this was, I think, this could be, tell me if I'm wrong here, if not the first relationship of your life here, Leo, the first really significant relationship of your life with this uh, Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, the Venus dominant personality. And I think it, it, it brought you, it's um, a stepping stone soulmate. Well, it's all soulmates, right? I mean, if there's a connection at all. So got you out of your hermit mode. Uh, some energy between you was righted. Um, one or the other or both, or maybe you decided that just really 
uh, you weren't interested after all in something long term like maybe you thought you were originally and um, <clears throat> temperance being Sagittarius so also where we learn through experience Sag I know so I think you learned a lot from this uh, so far here in the story so by now you would be you know past your Saturn return um, probably um, this kind of could say this kind of your lesson uh, be careful what you give your heart to what you give your energy to because um, um, you know um, it leads places and then we have the Nine of Cups and I do see this still as um, here Venus energy and for you I think there's coming into your life this is in the future and you've learned your lesson um, and in the future you're single you watch a singles reading so you're open to something coming in you have justice here we have two of cups which you often see as Libra energy this is the first and seventh house looking at each other like in the heart spread reading for who's on your mind first and the second cards are, are the two of cups you know you're looking for your other right across the zodiac on the other side your other your two of cups person their two of cups person um, so this is showing um, that you it's sort of like I don't want to say get back up on get right back up on the horse I think there's a period of time here but you do get back up on the horse and I think what this draws in is this Libra personality so you'll know it, the time frame more like are you up on that horse and what I mean is like the Knight of Cups is actively looking for love you know that's action that's Mars and it's playing around and it's right next to the Two of Cups so um, that's love on your mind um, so I think what you're gonna find is now it's like now with this temperance and you know I should show all these cards with this temperance card over the four cups um, you know you really did learn a lesson it's like you know now like exactly not only what you don't want maybe now you know what you do want you know and you know you have really good instincts here it's like when you were young you're already working hard trying to keep things balanced you were pointing the finger at yourself working on yourself you weren't you know projecting on other people and causing problems you know so I think also I'm kind of seeing you built some pretty good karma here so it comes in justice too which can be karma so I think that this is a Libra Sun with a Libra Mars and a Scorpio Venus personality and I just think that's what we're dealing with here um, so this is going to be um, fire and air uh, basically so that kind of works um, There'll be something about a marriage with this person. Uh, maybe they're still married. Maybe they're separated. Maybe they're waiting on a divorce. Um, you know, I've heard it all. <laughs> you know, I have to stay married for 10 years because I get so much every month. You know, something going on with a marriage. And I don't think it's you. I don't know. You, if this your reading impressed me so much, probably single. You might got married to this sad one. I had lived with them, I had something serious with them, you know. Um, but this person is going to return your emotions for them. Um, and this is going to really make you feel good because you know you got this four cups. What you discovered is be careful what you go, you know, that you try to get something because then you might not really want it. And so now I think you have a better understanding of what it is that you really want. And you're loath to make that mistake again. I see you being fine all the way across here. Justice and then the Ace of Pentacles. You know, um, karma, justice, your person being a Libra, Libra Mars, taking action in this balanced way. You know, um, um, I have a Venus in Scorpio, so I understand uh, this person with the Venus in Scorpio. And coming at you with this two of cups I mean you you you're getting a person here Leo that is gonna literally put you first they're gonna say to you you know um, you're you're number one in my life 
like my job comes second, you know, I don't get into the whole codependent thing, but well, I'm number one. No, it's just, that's how they feel. They really want you to know that you're number one in their, in their life. That might have been a little bit of the issue here with the four cups in your, in your Sag. Maybe they began to show disinterest and then you, you know, caught it. So, but I think this could be very balanced and consistent and then look, you know, you come in with the page of swords and you go out with the ace of pentacles. That you go out with a solid new beginning, um, really in love. So I think what's going to happen, you're going to get involved with this person. And I think this ace of pentacles, it's going to be about like moving in together potentially, but, you know, becoming exclusive and really wanting to get to know each other and become a couple. So thank you. Thank you, guys. Let me know uh, what you think of that one. Like, thumbs up, uh, tell a friend, tell a friend. Do subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you.